First, in tonight's news for your health, powered by HealthKey.com. A procedure at Penn State Hershey Medical Center allows doctors to unclog arteries in the heart through the wrist. Yeah, the procedure is safer and more comfortable for the patient, allowing them to go home that same day with open arteries. Penn State Hershey Medical Center is part of the small percentage of hospitals that offer a heart biopsy done through the wrist. In the United States, the cardiologists have been relatively slow at picking up on it, and only about 2 to 3 percent of procedures in the United States are done that way. A wrist catheterization unclogs block arteries in the heart. Traditionally, the heart biopsy is done in the groin. This is the way most hospitals perform the procedure throughout the country. A lot of people are comfortable doing what they were trained to do and not necessarily doing an alternative that might actually be better. But going through an artery the size of a garden hose can cause many complications. You often won't realize you're bleeding until you've lost a significant amount of blood. In the wrist, it's the artery right underneath the thumb and it's very superficial and it doesn't take much bleeding before you realize there's a problem and it's very easy to hold it. A tiny wire is inserted through the radial artery in the wrist. If a blockage is found, the doctor inserts a balloon to open the artery. Then they can put in the stint that keeps the blockage from closing. The patient is awake, lightly sedated, and when the procedure is over, they can go home that same day. They could, uh, in theory, jog uh, uh, a few hours after the procedure. Well, heart disease is the leading cause of death for men and women. Penn State Hershey Medical Center is one of the leading training centers in the United States for the wrist catheterization procedure.